Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you might have guessed, today we are going to be playing with the Hooser and the Fest. I have been waiting a while for this, but Royal Mail has been on strike. Um, I did actually order this off of Deeper, so if you're interested in watching me play a look, watching me do some swatches, then please keep watching. <laughs> palette swatched those shimmers are amazing I did just go and see my one eye off of camera so I knew what exactly I was doing today and I did prime my eyes today with the Kiko eye base in neutral um, so firstly we took a refer 15 and I went into I know these shades look quite similar but this one has definitely got a more of a pinky undertone and it is lighter. So just fluff that through the crease. It is very pigmented. As soon as you put it on, you've got your colour there. You can pack it on as much as you want to. You can basically, it is your choice. But if you didn't want the colour like so in your face, then I'd definitely go in with a very, very light hand because they are very, very pigmented. this back and forth through the creasing. I don't know if you can tell but it definitely has got that very pinky undertone to it. So it goes really nice with the shimmers. This could definitely be like a one and done shade because it's just so pigmented. I don't actually think I own any shades like this in my collection. I'm really looking forward to playing with this palette. I had a lot of fun creating this just this one eye look which literally took me about 10 minutes to just put it all on, get it all blended and it probably would have took me a lot a lot less time like what I do sometimes just sit there and just keep blending till I'm happy but it, it, end, it blends, not ends sorry it blends so effortlessly anyway so you don't have to like worry or anything like that about it really good palette for beginners because it just like I say there's no there's no effort with the blending my brush is literally doing it this is these are really good brushes anyway but I've used like Jessup brushes and Morphe brushes with Huda palettes in the past and I've never had any issues so I feel like that was the blending kind of done I think I did go in with quite a heavy hand on this one. Just keep blending up and towards the eyebrow. You see what I mean? I'm literally not even trying and it's just blended out it's the one great thing about Huda palettes that I've realised in the ones that I've tried it just blends like effortlessly then I went in with a Refa 14 and then I did take the deeper more orangey shade this one hasn't really got that pinky undertone and it, it definitely is just create that like burnt orange autumn look which everyone's looking for at the moment Has anybody else tried this palette? Are you looking to pick this palette up? I'm really glad that I did. I try not to watch reviews because it, it was one of my wish list palettes. So if I'm trying to think if I need it, um, I'll tend to leave reviews until I've reviewed it myself just because, you know, I want to have my own opinion on how the palette works and then I can go in and watch reviews. But it has taken it more of like that reddy orangey shade by adding that one over the top but you can definitely see like the gradient now, like the colour difference. Then I went in with a refer 1 and took this deepest shade on the palette and just packed that 
on the red side. I did go in with the light hand because I knew how pigmented the shade was. So I'm just stamping literally so and then adding as I go. You don't want to bring it a little bit through the crease but nothing like to just give it a little bit of smokiness. Nothing too dramatic. I wanted this to just be something simple that people could create but also whilst trying to use as many shades in the palette and get my feel for it. I've definitely got a feel for it today. First impressions are it's stunning. She's really nailed it. I've got no problems with it whatsoever. Can't smell that. Now my shimmers I did have to pick up with my finger. There was a little bit of a fallout but it was easy enough to just wipe away. So I went in with the deep purple shade first. I'm going to put that right in the centre. And it's just, it's just such a stunning shade. It really is. Just on its own, I think that would just be amazing all over the lid, but I do want to test, test, test out both shimmers. So then I went in with the lighter pink shimmer, just look at that. Isn't that pretty? Again, beautiful, beautiful shimmers. Then I did try and pick up just a little bit on a brush, just because I wanted to get it into the corners, and this is just a Jessup Benuel 16. Like I said, doesn't pick up the best on this brush or my Mecca brush. And I didn't want to wet it just because simply I wanted to see how it performed dry. And normally, if this is like just a basic day, I'll just literally just grab my finger and just plump the shade on. Kind of something. <laughs> How did it? And then just went back over the top with a refer number one, just to make sure everything was kind of blended out. I feel like I definitely need to try more of these Obsessions palettes. This is the Obsessions one, yeah. Um, I have a couple of the, there's an orange and a green one. They were like, and I know they did a red one. I can't remember what they were called. I do have them um, as well, which I don't really reach for that often, to be honest. No extra product, just want to make sure everything is blended out. Seamlessly and beautifully. Now, because I don't, there isn't an inner, inner corner. You could, if you were doing all that look, get away with using that as the inner corner. But because there is no inner corner, I did just go grab my beauty ray palette, base palette, and just take the highlight and shade, and just put that on the inner corner, just to give it that little bit of a round the brow bone. And then I've got this brush, which is my refer number three. And then we went in with that darkest brown shade again. And just match these up just on the bottom. And then the lightest orange, the pinky undertone shade. Just to sort of marry them up. So I'm now going to go off the camera, just apply mascara. I'm not sure if I'm going to do lashes or not, but I haven't made my mind up yet. And then we will be back 
with my impressions of the palette so far so good so here is the completed look let me know what you think um for lips i use um an la girl lip liner this is so creamy it's actually called natural cream um i think that's actually the shade name as well i think yeah that's what it says on there so natural cream and they are really really creamy because i'm testing these out as well i use the mac ubl stranger things lip gloss uh, in the waterline i just went in with the purple shade shadow stick in cheshire cat fur just to add a little bit of purple to the waterline so yeah that is the finished look let me know down below what you think lashes i just used the so Sue lashes from um primark in Milan so again really nice really easy to apply so palette out packaging 10 out of 10 and I've got makeup all over it <laughs> and inside is again a 10 out of 10 this they bl built up blended out everything packed on top of each other stunningly shimmers apply with your finger um, I didn't try a wet brush, but I can definitely do that next time. Um, I didn't use one for the shades out of the nine, so not too bad. So if you want me to do another look, I'll be more than happy to do that. I definitely can't wait to try to play around with this palette. Um, I definitely think it's going to definitely just be like an autumn shimmery. It can be a day look, it can be a night look, it can be... And any look really um i love blue dirt so i'm really really glad that i've managed to pick that up at a discount price stuff as you say so definitely go and check out depop check out ebay anything like that because half the time they do sell them a lot cheaper um i'm really yeah i'm really happy with that and i'm really really happy with the finished look um someone also asked me about my hair piece because obviously it's not my natural hair it's just a long ponytail yeah. This is the box Coco um, and it is really nice. I have this one and I have a curly one. My curly one's a little bit more um, matted and they don't like last forever. I do spray them with leave-in conditioner and use a white dust comb. Um, but yeah, they're just so easy to just chuck in and and you haven't got to worry when you've got kids. <laughs> That's what you want because although my hair is like when it's tied up, it's out the way, it does look a little bit messy sometimes and I just feel like I don't I can't pull off the messy mom bun so i just feel like i can chuck this in and they are the grip clips and the bit of the tub the pull cord at the bottom and they're just easy five minutes and they're in and they're in for the day they are really 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 tight um really good fit in but if anyone knows any more um i love testing these out and i just i just love them because they're just really really easy i'd like a shorter one um because these are as i say quite long as plus they can get a bit hot obviously now that the cooler weather's coming i'll probably use this one a lot more um but i do really like them so if anyone knows of any more brands or anything that i can get that i can try then please let me know down below um please like and subscribe i will also link my instagram down below as i always do in case you want to pop over um, I think the next video coming up, I'm not sure if this one will go up first or my other one which will be ranking my drugstore palettes um, that I've tried I think since I got into makeup because yeah, some of these are quite an, an older one I think they're all still available though so um, again I can link everything on that video so yeah, click the notification bells on so you can also watch that video and come back and join me and we'll have a good old time um yeah thanks for watching please like please subscribe and please come back thanks bye <laughs>